people are already saying it's going to be the, the, it's the most intriguing or potentially most fun matchup of the first round. Do you, do you expect it to be really competitive, good games? Oh, yeah, we, we absolutely. We expect it to be competitive, uh, no doubt about it. We're, uh, like I said, we're considered the underdog. We're going to go out there and, and, uh, and, and with guns blazing and, and ready to go and, and, and be, you know, be very aggressive from the jump. And uh, we just look forward to, to Saturday and, and, uh, and getting going. We did a lot of good preparation today. Our coaching staff has done an unbelievable job of breaking down Denver and, and, uh, and their tendencies, uh, both individual and as a team. And we're going to have to, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to really know those guys by the time Saturday rolls around. And, and uh, we already got you know, a lot more of it down today. Well, Right. Uh, not only protecting the rim, but also, as you know, uh, they're a team with a lot of depth, and I think that that uh, the more uh, the more depth that we have available is going to be important to us. Um, you know, having a guy like Bogut, having having Andres able to give us some minutes, uh, and then having everybody healthy on the perimeter, I think is going to be very important because you know they're going to run a lot of guys in there and play up tempo. I think it's important for us to have everybody, you know, all hands on deck, ready to go. David, how personally how excited are you? And how, how many years it's been before you get a playoff? picture this, uh, this day or this opportunity. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. It couldn't have happened with a better team. I mean, I, I, our team right now is, is in a great place, not only how we're playing ball, but also mentally. I think we're, we're all ready for this challenge. And uh, for me, it's been a, a long time to wait. Uh, and, and I'm having to do more to calm myself down from being hyped than I am get ready for it. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just excited. Uh, we're going to do a lot of preparation between now and Saturday, but uh, we're really excited when the time comes. Did you ever wonder? Ever come. I mean, there's a lot of players who, you know. Yeah, yeah no, I, I figured, uh, I figured sooner or later, just by the uh, by the statistics, you have to, right? But uh, <laughs> no, I think our, our, our organization is taking steps to really go in the right direction, and and uh, our our team has has done a great job this season of getting the most out of our ability. And I look forward to doing the same thing here in the playoffs. A lot of key contributors here don't have playoff experience. Does that, does that matter much? Um, I don't think it does. I, I you know. I guess we're going to see when the series starts, but uh, you know, uh, a lot of the you know I don't think you know the Nuggets you would say have a guy that's you know won three championships and, and they have a few guys that have been in a lot of playoff series, but I think a lot of the key guys on both sides uh, are a little young on playoff experience, uh, a little light on playoff experience, but all you can do is just go out there and, and, and I'm just focused on going out there and, and giving the effort and playing my game and letting the rest unfold. What if Richard Jefferson and any other player? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, you know, Richard and Jared, if you guys that have been in the in the playoff series, you know, say that it's going to be a lot like you know a lot of these games down the stretch have been for us. You know, a game like you know at LA uh, recently, um, games like uh, the two time, you know, the, the time previous last where we played the Spurs at home, or the overtime game, games like that between two competitive teams, uh, where it comes down to execution on both ends, uh, comes down to loose balls, comes down to plays like that. Uh, you know, those are playoff type atmosphere, playoff type games, and so I think our team is, uh, you know, playing the schedule that we did in, in February on the road, playing a lot of tough road games, and having some home games here here at the end. I think that our team is going to be well prepared, and I think we're playing great basketball going into uh, a very tough series. Have you ever been to a playoff game as a spectator? I've been to uh, a couple of games when I was younger, when I was picking an agent. I was at, at games when I was watching them. Not as at Chicago, Chicago versus Washington. But not since you've been an NBA player. No, uh, Larry Hughes hit a shot at the buzzer to win. You guys probably remember that game. Larry Hughes versus Washington. Yes. If the game is fast, who's that advantage? Um, you know, I think I think the game the the game pace uh, can be as fast as as the Nuggets want it to be, or as we can you know want it to be. I think the biggest thing for us is. There's a difference between them playing fast and and playing in transition and them getting easy buckets. I think the biggest thing we have to do is get back and take away their layups and dunks. And uh, it's very different, you know, them them pushing the ball, making three or four passes and getting a contested three, to them getting a, a run out lob for, for dunks and hitting the offensive glass off. They've got some significant injuries over the last couple of months. How different are they from the team that you've played already? I mean, I think the, the one of the strengths uh, that they have is their depth. So I, I, so I don't I don't look at them as being a, a you know weakened too much by it. 
Uh, certainly Gallinari uh, was one of their biggest outside threats, if not their biggest. And uh, as a guy that can score in the half court for them and score one-on-one. -on -one. So um, that even you know emphasizes more uh, that we need to get back and we need to, to keep them out of getting easy buckets. What have you done? <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, I, uh, I had that sent to me by a couple of people and decided to put that in. Uh, once again, you know, I, I saw that everyone's, you know, all their you know, so-called experts are, are, are picking the Nuggets. And you know what, like I said, we, this isn't a role that we've played lately. We've, we've actually been, you know, kind of the favorite here in some of these games rolling to the end of the season. But we're excited to, to, to go out there and just play our game. And, and at this point, you know, a lot of people didn't expect us to be here. Uh, and, you know, so we've beaten the odds before, and I think we got a chance to do it again. Dave, what have you done in the last couple of watch on TV? Yeah. I mean, and that's, you know, year, fifth, sixth, seventh year without being there. What's yeah, I'm, I'm, like? you know, I'm a fan of the game, so I definitely watch a lot of these playoff games, but it's uh, it's very different. You know, it's kind of the feeling this time of year. We are talking last night, most of us are, we're, we're deciding, uh, you know, which beach we are going to go to this weekend, and, okay. and are we going to ship the car out for the summer or leave it here for another week? And uh, last night felt like it was just a, you know, just a, a, another game we were are finished with and, and we were about to start on a new part of our journey. So to me, like I said, I, I'm you know the most excited guy in this gym right now. I, I couldn't be more proud of what we've done so far this season, but also really, really enthusiastic about our opportunities in the postseason. And, uh, and and just I'm gonna you know I'm gonna be the guy that really is gonna enjoy this and go leave it all on the court. David, now that um, Steph's season it's starting to the ankle injuries and even that first start in the very first game there was a question about you know yeah. how healthy he was going to be and then to end it the way he did breaking the record and right yeah i mean uh, steph is the, the number one thing about him this year is he's been healthy like you said he's he's uh, a guy that's gotten better and better each year but his health has been kind of the only thing holding him back and, and he's been very healthy playing 78 games this year can't ask for much more than that and um just really proud of, of not only, you know, his shooting's always been there, but I think he's gotten a lot better defensively this year. I think he's gotten a lot better in the pick and roll, passing the basketball, uh, his ball handling. Uh, so he's he's a guy that, uh, you know, hasn't rested any, in, in, you know, on, on his abilities, has continued to, to improve his game year in and year out. And this year with being healthy, he's, he's taking that next step. And I'm just really proud of him as a as a co-captain. I think he's done an unbelievable job. What are your thoughts about?